Maruti Suzuki has decided to stop producing diesel cars as soon as the BF6 rolls in. And so is the thought of Tata. And I feel they are doing the right thing. Wanna know why? Then hang in there, cause my name is Purvang Mantri and welcome back to my channel. BF6 norms are concentrated more towards the diesel vehicles than on the petrol. And with the implementation of BF6 norms, the diesel vehicles are going to get expensive. As we all know, not everyone knows it. Okay, most of us might know this, that diesel cars are the most polluting cars running on the road today. And with the help of BF6 norms, they are trying to bring the pollution done by the diesel cars down. According to BS6 norms, the amount of NOx or oxides of nitrogen produced by the diesel engine is brought down to 80 mg. Previously, this value was 250 mg. And to compare this with petrol engine, the NOx produced in them is just 60 mg. That's not the catch. To get the value of NOx and other pollutants down, the diesel cars are going to be equipped with new tech. This new tech involves selective catalytic reduction, advanced OBD, high pressure CRDI, better exhaust gas regulation and out of all of this selective catalytic reduction or SCR is going to make the cars expensive. The SCR converts NOx into diatomic nitrogen and water with the help of a catalyst and to get this reaction done the SCR uses AdBlue. AdBlue is just a mixture of urea and deionized water and this AdBlue is going to add up as a consumable with oil and oil filter in the diesel cars. Which means AdBlue is just another thing which one might need to keep in mind when it comes to the maintenance part of the car. As the engine oil, oil filter, air filter, fuel filter, etc. are replaced during the periodic maintenance, this AdBlue needs to be topped up too. And this would make the service cost of the cost a little bit costly. Not much, just a little bit. Also to add all of this new tech in the BS6 compliant vehicle, it is going to increase the production cost of the vehicle and thus increasing the selling price. Yeah, diesel has some benefits like it has better load carrying capacity and it gives better efficiency in long runs which are beneficial to heavy commercial vehicles like buses and trucks and not to our regular cars. So using diesel in our regular cars might end up polluting instead. And when it comes to the power output, petrol engines produce more power than diesel engines for the same cubic capacity. If we take the example of America, then there are not many small cars that run on diesel. Pickup trucks, SUV and heavy commercial vehicles use diesel there. Rest of them just run on petrols. Or they might call it gasoline. So not using diesel engines in small cars like hatchbacks and sedan is actually a great idea. Even the capital of Greece and Spain are planning to ban diesel engines entirely. Maruti's decision on not producing diesel cars is actually good and I think every manufacturer should take this into account because this small step can bring the pollution level down. If you guys want to add into this content or have any queries or suggestions then feel free to put them into the comment section below. If you think my content made sense then go ahead and hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more such videos. Finally, wear your helmets while riding, seatbelts while driving. This is Purvang Mantri signing off.